This is a quick video over Excel macros. In this video, I want to show you how to do time loops. So we're going to build off a previous video where I showed you how to make this little on-off animation for a pump. So when the pump's on, I want the volume of the system to increase by whatever the flow rate is. So every three seconds, I want the volume to increase by one liter, or sorry, three liters. So how do we do that? Well, we'll go to Visual Basics. And what we'll do is we'll insert a new module just to make the code nice and clean. We'll call this module main, and I like to keep mod in front of it and just call it main. So mod main, and then we'll go in here and write sub main, so a subroutine that's the main the main thing we want repeated over and over. And what we want repeated every second is cell A4, our range, A4 dot value to equal itself, to equal itself plus whatever is in B whoops, equal itself plus whatever is in B. So, B4. So when this code is run, A4 will increase by whatever is in B4. So we'll run it, and A4 should become 3, 6, and 9. So we're good there. Now how do we get it to repeat itself every second? That's a little bit more difficult. So what we'll do is we'll add in another subroutine sub and we'll call it timer but you can name it anything you want and in here we'll say something relatively unique application dot on time now plus time value question mark so what is this saying well it's saying the application on some time and that time will be whatever the current time is what that's what now means the current time right now plus some time value and for the moment the time value is one second so the application will run whatever is in the question mark. And the question mark is the subroutine you want to run. And our subroutine we want to run is main. So now, a second after we run this code, this code will be performed. So we'll run this code, and then this code will be performed. So let's see if that happens. And about a second later, it runs. But how do we get it to repeat itself? Well, once this code has been run, all we have to do is call the timer function again, and you'll get this constant loop. So now we'll just call timer. And all we have to do is type timer. And now, if we press play, every second it should increase by 3 liters. And that's what we see. We see it increase by 3 liters every second. So now we got to stop the program, and there might be a ding, because you're, you're breaking the code when you do this. So we're going to pr press break and something comes up and then we press pause to just get ready to go again now what we want is the timer function to only run if pump if the pump is on so what we're going to do now is go back to our module and copy this range j11 dot value is equal to on so when this says on j11 says on then we'll have the timer function run so what we'll do so we'll go back to our main. I think I copied that. We'll copy this. Go back to our main. And say if J11 is equal to on, then perform this code. And then stop the perform of the code with an end def. So, so now we have it if this is off, the code will not run. So we'll press play up here and we see nothing happens. However, if we turn it on, press play, whoops, okay, so it's getting a little bit confused, but we'll do a timer, press run, and now every second we see it increase by three. So now we have our loop, but we're gonna shut it off, and we see it stops when we press off. So now we wanna go to back to module one, and we wanna say, when the pump is on, we want timer to be called timer. So now when we click this button, the timer function will be called, our timer subroutine will be called, and it will repeat itself. So now we have a very a very simple pump and a time loop. So that was my video over time loop. You can get the program or this software or the code in the description below.